This video is brought to you by Brilliant.org. Okay, artificial intelligence has come to Graxpert. No more laying down samples to remove the gradients out of your images. Just one click and boom, it's done. I'm going to show you how to use it. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, so there's going to be two downloads you need to grab in order to get this to work. The first is the beta version of Graxpert. I'll leave the links for both of these downloads in the description. Uh, so we have support for Linux, Mac, and Windows. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to grab the Win64. And while that's downloading, we're going to jump over to the BG underscore model file that we need. Again, link is in the description. Just download that. When you first start the download, if you look down in the bottom right corner, you'll see it's zipping the file. So that'll take a few seconds for that to complete. And then it'll prompt you where you want to download the zip file. And once your two files have finished downloading, you want to unzip the zip file first. So just right click and extract. And we're going to move these two files that we downloaded into their own directory. So put it wherever you want on your hard drive. What I have done is created a folder called Graxpert AI. So I'm going to open up my extracted folder and just drag over the BG model folder into that one and then come back up and grab the executable as well. And that's all you need to do. You're ready to run now. You can create a shortcut and do what you want later, but... For now, this is all we need to get running. So simply just double click the executable. When it first runs, you will get a message that Windows is protecting your PC. Just click run anyway. And when Graxpert comes up, you'll get a notification that there's a new version available. Just click OK. There's nothing you need to do. Again, this is beta. So I'm not going to go through everything. I have a video on how to use Graxpert already. I'll leave it up here in the top right corner for you. If this is your first time seeing this and you want to walk through and how everything works. Today, we're just covering the uh, AI interpolation method that they've included in the beta version. So I got a few images I want to go through with you guys today. So we're going to load up my first one here, which is my cosmic rose. So the image that we loaded up here is a linear image. Nothing has been done. This is straight out of Cyril right after the stacking procedure. You can crop it in Cyril first and then bring it over here if you wish, or you can do the cropping right in here. So we're going to do the cropping in here first. Turn the crop mode on just to get these artifacts from the stacking out of our way. So we're just going to drag points over and then apply crop. Now there's there's not a real horrible gradient on this one. You can see it starts down in this corner here. It's getting kind of light. But all you need to do is come down to your interpolation method and select AI. They do suggest that you start on zero. You either can do zero or move the slider over to one. Either way, it does default to one, but he mentioned starting on zero may be best in some circumstances because the AI already does some smoothing. So start on zero and all you have to do is hit calculate background. Give it a few seconds to, to work its magic and there we go. It knocked that gradient out. Like I said, this one wasn't real bad, but it did a good job. Come up here to the top where it says processed. Obviously we're looking at our modified image. We can go back to the original and see our gradient and back to processed again and there's a third option called background this is actually the gradient that it removed so let's move over and we'll open up something that's got a little bit more of a gradient in it the wizard nebula and again i've got my cropping artifacts going on here so i'm gonna do a quick crop apply it and again just calculate background no laying samples down you don't have to worry about landing on any stars. I mean, for a beta version, it's doing a pretty good job. So yeah, that looks good too. We can come, same thing here. We can come back up in the original and we can take a look at our background, what it extracted for us. And so, you know, a little bit about the artificial intelligence, the AI that it's using, specifically, it's called convolutional neural networks. Like other AI models, it learns by being fed information that it needs. I'm nowhere close to being the expert on AI. But if you want a free and easy way to learn more about it, check out Brilliant.org. Brilliant is the best way for anyone to learn not only about neural networks, but also thousands of other lessons such as math, science, and astrophysics. In their Introduction to Neural Networks lessons, you'll delve into the inner machinery of neural networks to discover how these flexible learning tools actually work, which is what these guys are doing here with their AI and Graxpert. And whatever your skill level is, Brilliant customizes the content to fit your needs and allows you to complete the lessons at your own pace. It's just a fun and interactive, easy way Way to learn basic to advanced topics and they're adding new lessons every month so to try everything brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days visit brilliant.org slash deep space astro or click on the link in the description and the first 200 of you will get 20 percent off of brilliant's annual premium subscription so i have one more image i want to show you guys it's got a little bit more gradient going on and that's my whirlpool galaxy that i took a couple months ago and again we're going to do a quick crop and this time 
we'll start on zero we'll hit calculate background and then we'll adjust the smoothing to one to see if it gives us anything more afterwards so that's zero let's bump the slider up to one and hit calculate background again i'm watching these corners here see if it would pick those up at all for us no nope, and it didn't and it actually looked like it smoothed it out more so one thing that i did notice and they mentioned this in their introduction video when they released this that once you run the ai you can kind of use this as a template right you can go back into one of the other interpolation methods and start placing samples down and um you know run that run the rbf for example after you already ran the ai what they didn't mention so i don't know if this is a correct thing to say but leaving it in ai if i came down into these corners where i still have a little bit of vignetting going on and just place some extra samples where this brightness is and then hit the ai again actually i'm going to bump that down to zero and then run ai again it appears obviously the artificial intelligence is still doing the bulk of the work and make, making decisions on what samples to select but it, i was able to help it a little bit by placing additional samples around the corner again i'm not sure if that's correct they did not mention it in the video but it seems to work so that was pretty cool so all in all i'm happy with this and the dynamic background extraction that's within zero they actually use the code from graxper so I'm hoping, and I know some of you have reached out to me and, and mentioned this as well, that once this comes out of beta and Graxpert, maybe somewhere in the future, this will get put into serial for us as well with the AI option. That would be pretty phenomenal. So like I mentioned before, the software is still in beta, but already it's doing a really good job. It's only going to get better. A couple of things I wanted to point out that they mentioned in the release videos. First of all, there has not been a lot of training done with mono images. That leads into the second thing. They're looking for everybody's help. So if you're using it, they want you to send them your good results, your bad results, the images that you use before and after. I'll leave the link to the release video in the description. You want to go over and watch that and make sure you follow their procedure to get your images over to them if you do want to assist in, in helping making this even better. And, and I'm sure Sure, it will get better, right? Everything always does. These guys are really knocking it out of the park with this thing. I want to say thanks to everybody who's joined my memberships, both here on YouTube and over on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate everybody's time watching my videos and the comments that you leave and sharing. And it's just been a wild ride. So once again, appreciate everybody's time. We'll see you in the next video and clear skies.